Hi, mathematicians. Today we are going to be learning and thinking about three-dimensional shapes. Now, if you remember, we started learning about three-dimensional shapes in Number Corner in March. Our calendar markers would have pictures of three-dimensional shapes in different places, like pyramids in Egypt, or a triangular prism as a bike ramp. So three-dimensional shapes are all around us. We just have to have our mathematician's eyes open and looking for them. Today you are going to go on a three-dimensional shape hunt, but you are going to be looking for spheres, cylinders, triangular prisms, and cubes. So let's review what those four three-dimensional shapes look like. A rectangular prism is a type of three-dimensional shape that one of its faces or some of its faces are rectangles. So when I say face, that's the shape that the three-dimensional shape looks like the most. So I found this book. This book is a rectangular prism. You'll notice that the front of the book is a rectangle. It has two sides that are the same and two sides that are also the same length. So that is a rectangle. So this is a rectangular prism. Now, some of the sides have different sizes of rectangles, but that's okay. Each of its faces on this rectangular prism are rectangle, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six faces. So remember, the face is the flat side of the um, three-dimensional shape. Now, you'll also be looking for cubes. Cubes have faces that are squares. So I found this cube in my house, and you'll notice that it is a square, has a square face, and each of the faces are squares. This is one of Violet's toys. Now, you'll notice there's a hole in this cube, but I didn't let that stop me. I said, you know what, this is still a cube, even though it has a hole in it still has square faces. Now, another shape you'll be looking for is the cylinder. The cylinder is a little bit different because it doesn't have all the sides the same, but it still has faces. So this is a peanut butter jar, and you'll notice that this has a circle for a face, and then these sides aren't, aren't circles, but you know, it's still a three-dimensional shape. It has two faces that are circles. And the last three-dimensional shape you'll be looking for is a sphere. When we think of spheres, we always think of soccer balls, or um, this is a little play ball, or golf balls. Spheres are like the toy balls that we play with. So I bet you'll have lots of different spheres around your house. As well. Do you think you could find some that aren't toys or things that we play with? Let me know if you do. So remember friends, you're going to be looking for spheres, cylinders, cubes, and rectangular prisms. I cannot wait to see what you find in your house when you go on your three-dimensional shape hunt. Bye friends!